Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a collective haul. I have been shopping a lot while I was at my mum's house and I thought I would kind of film a video and show you guys what I brought because some of them are makeup items that I've been wanting for ages, some of them are just other makeup items, beauty products, um, house decor, health clothing, I don't know, fitness clothing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It may be long, but yeah, I was so excited to film this video because I haven't done a haul in so long. So the first place that I shopped at was online and I have never brought off makeup.co.nz but I felt like the uh, conversion rate between America and New Zealand isn't that great at the moment so it ended up being the same price as you know, ordering off Beauty Bay anyway. So the first product that I picked up was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. I've been debating whether to get this for a while but the only problem I had was I didn't really know what shade I would be in. I have quite grey toned eyebrows, like quite ash toned eyebrows and I didn't know whether to get blonde or taupe and there wasn't a lot of like reviews on taupe. I found this video but it wasn't really helpful because her like eyebrows were quite, I don't know, golden so it was really hard to pick which one I wanted but I ended up just biting the bullet and getting the taupe colour and I'm in love. It matches my eyebrows and it will match my hair in like a month or so because I'm getting my hair like ash with blonde tips. Um, my hair is naturally ash if you guys didn't know already. But um, I'm in love and I have it in my eyebrows right now. But I think it's amazing and yeah I'm in love. And then I also picked up the Mary Luminizer by The Balm because I have been looking at this product for ages and I don't really have any amazing highlighters and this is amazing guys if you guys don't have this in your collection go out and buy it now because oh my god the pigmentation is just like phenomenal so I'm so excited that I kind of like bit the bullet and bought that as well plus there was like free shipping if you spent over $50 and you got these makeup wipes. And then I ordered off them a second time because their service was amazing and I had been like contemplating whether I wanted this other makeup product and it is a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Posh Spice. I'm wearing it on my lips at the moment. This is the packaging. It is so beautiful. Um, and I'm in love. It is amazing. It's almost like if you're going to buy it in New Zealand, it's almost the amount of a MAC lipstick, which I was just a little bit like, um, I could probably get a MAC lipstick. But it is worth it. Oh my god, amazing. And the lasting power is amazing as well. Like I'll eat something and it'll still be there. It's oh, I forgot on my first order that you could ask makeup.co.nz in the where it says leave a comment to uh, jewelry something. So I asked for a unicorn with false eyelashes and they drew it. How cute is that? It is so cute. So cute. Next I went to the supermarket and I bought me some Batiste Dry Shampoo. I tried a different flavor this time because I always gravitate towards the blush one and I thought I'd try something different. I didn't really like the smell of this at first. I think I mentioned that in a video one time but yeah, so far I'm loving it. I stopped buying it because the hair, my hair felt like it was falling out. But I read this uh, thing on, I think, Facebook that said that if you do it the night before and then wake up, it'll be like new hair again. I don't know. And so, yeah, I bought that. Then I also bought these, which these aren't really beauty related, but I thought I'd show you anyway. They sit in your fridge and they hold like the gourmet herb uh, garden gourmet herb tubes so I bought those because they were on special. About a month ago me and my partner bought some Fitbits from No Leaming and these are the Fitbit Charge HR which means they've got heart rate detection. Me and my partner brought them basically to kind of keep us motivated and they've been working amazingly so if you guys want a review on uh, the Fitbits, I'm wearing mine right now, um, let me know and I can do that for you guys. They are, this one here that we bought was originally 200 
but we got ours on special for like 180, 170 I believe. The next store I'm going to talk about, I went to Briscoe's while I was down at my mum's and about a couple of weeks ago I bought a George Foreman Mix and Go Smoothie Maker because my blender had just had it and I decided to buy the Mix and Go Health Mill. You can get these on special for $11 and 90 cents down from $20 and yeah I thought we could make sauces and basils and you can also make nut butters in here as well. It's just an accessory that you can add to your mix and go to make it more versatile and more like just more make more things with it I guess so yeah I'm really excited about that. Then I went to the warehouse and I just bought a Sistema RSA lunchbox uh, for Kawana to go to work with. I bought an ice and sugar steamer container because that's the only one I need for my baking set. I bought a baking tray. This was $10 down to $1.47 and you can pretty much just put it in your microwave and cook anything on it and it just saves your microwave a whole bunch of mess. Then I got these boots on sale. These were $12 or $13 down from 50 I believe. I also bought a Cameo lip brush. I left my eyebrow brush here by accident. I thought I picked it but I must have just left it on the couch and I couldn't find an eyebrow brush anywhere so I ended up buying a lip brush which I kind of needed a new lip brush anyway so this doubled as my eyebrow brush while I was away. It wasn't amazing for an eyebrow brush but I definitely think it'll work way better as a lip brush and I think that was about $6.00. Next I brought the Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 120. I couldn't find any lighter shade but I hope this works for me. If you guys want to see a review I'm going to be doing a first impression video on this very shortly so keep an eye out for that. The last two things I brought from the warehouse were home decor. Uh, I bought this a yellow throw which I'm completely in love with and it'll go so well in my lounge. This was 40 down to 20. And then I also bought this pillow which I'm in love with as well. This was I believe 30 down to 15 and the copper will match my kitchen. So this is going to go in my lounge as well. Next I just brought some false eyelashes from the $2 shop. These were $4.90 um, from the brand Carla. So... I'm not really amazing with eyelashes so I'm really interested to try these. These have a clear band and they're in number 41. The next store is Lovisa and they were having a sale and I just picked up this beautiful headpiece. It's just got sapphire looking uh, jewels in it and they were it was on a 3 for 10 but I just asked them how much it would be by itself because I wasn't really interested in anything else and they just said it would be five or six dollars so it was 23 New Zealand down to 26 so I don't think that's too bad and I don't have any jewelry pieces for my hair so I am in love with it. <laughs> and the last store is my favourite store of all if you guys know me you'll know that I'm in love with Kmart so much so um, I picked up some walking shoes just because me and Kawano are exercising more these were $15 and they're just called the Chloe W Jogger and I got size 7 if you're wondering. Then I just got, it's not very attractive but it was $2.15, it's just like a lounging sweater so I thought that was really cute. And then I got a black and blue hoodie, I just have the blue one on me because the black one's in the wash and they were $5 so just something to wear. I don't know, it gets really cold here. So. And I brought some exercise leggings and these were $8 down from 15 or 12 and they just go with the jacket that I already got on sale ages ago. So they do a, eh? yep. Yep, they match. Whew. I was just like thinking like, oh my god, because I saw these like mountains on here in orange and I'm like, I don't remember my jacket having orange mountains, but yep. So yeah, those are the exercise pants. The next thing I picked up was some phone cases and these were a dollar. So I got a cheetah print on a white base with glitter reflex in it. And then I also got 
a black leather looking one. I know they won't protect my phone, but I couldn't resist them because they were so beautiful. Um, and then I got an OXX blush. I don't can't tell you the like colour because it doesn't have anything on it. And then I got a pair of pajamas. These are just shorts and the top. And these were three dollars down from ten. So yeah. I was really stoked. If you guys haven't noticed, I bargain shop unless I really, really want it. So, yeah, a lot of my hauls will be, like, bargains. The last few things I didn't purchase myself, my friend Emma went on a European UK Kentucky and brought me back some stuff. So I thought I'd show you them because they're gorgeous. Um, she brought me back this scarf from Amsterdam and they have bright fluoro orange, like, bitty bits, I don't even know what you'd call those, um, pom-poms on the end of them, it's totally me, like she said, I just like thought of you Tara because you're like into your bright colours and it's true, like this lip colour is unusual for me because I always love like bright things, and then she got me a Eiffel Tower keyring and a Eiffel Tower because I'm just obsessed with Eiffel Towers, and then she also got me a evil eye, she has the big big mama one and she gave all her friends a little one, so I thought that was really cute. Um, she also got some stuff for Everly, but I'm not going to show you that, that in this haul because it'll be far too long. But I hope you guys enjoy this haul, if you like this video don't forget to thumbs it up because it helps me a lot. And also don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my social media that will be linked down below and I will go... Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.